I'll, I'll add to that the uh we're gonna post it to our website we've got a youtube channel we post it to we'll post it to the website so if you don't want your video showing you can go ahead and turn off that's just fine and uh we'll get going so obviously every time i, I want to go out of my way to thank everybody for taking the time to do this we um I know how busy everybody is and, and really appreciate it. And we're going to try to make sure that we keep this to about 45 minutes total uh, to be very respectful of that. And, um, and then it goes without saying that we appreciate every one of you in the business that you send us. I've said many times that I've always hoped that we have the attitude that we always have had the attitude. We appreciate everywhere, but especially during these times. And uh, uh, so it's obviously very challenging for all of us. Um, really quick, just I think you guys are all very familiar with with Goodson and what we try to do, which is, you know, first and foremost, to build relationships and then curate items that are a good fit for the specific needs and the specific companies that we work with. But also this partner series has been, I think, part of our attempt to not only curate products, but curate partners and uh, make sure that you guys have access to things that sometimes are difficult for us to show just because of the nature of how our business works and so those, so far this has worked really well to create an opportunity for people to see a lot of product that we may not have had the opportunity to show and um so real quick i'll tell you um we've been getting to know colton over the last couple of years um i've worked with storm creek for several years and and we've become a huge fan of just the company and the product the quality i was texting with jacqueline earlier and asked to make sure she got her sample kit and she spoke to how soft the items are uh, i know that's something that ross uh, who's in the other room, he's wearing his, his monster. Well, you guys call it something different now, but he's wearing his moss pullover today and he loves it. And Brett's wearing his. And so we're excited about the product have been for a while. And I, I want, I'm excited for you guys to get the chance to see more of it. And um, real quick, everybody here, I think has the sample kit. We'll talk about that a little bit at the end. Uh, there should have been a label. I know Colton said his team included a label for easy return. And, uh, and then we'll kind of tie that together with the free gift uh, and, and sort of clarify that towards the end. So Colton, with that, I want to turn it over to you, man, and, and let's get let's get rolling. All righty. Thank you. Uh, before I start talking about Storm Creek, I just want to thank Goodson for having me in today and just letting you guys know you guys are in great hands. So they are some of the best in the industry. I love working with them and hopefully you guys do too. So it's nice when it's not just selling products and, you know, it's a friendship and they're making you smile and laugh when you're working with them. So you guys are in great hands. Um, so today we're going to go over just kind of who Storm Creek is, talk to you guys about kind of how we started, where we position ourselves in the market and what makes us a little different. Um, you guys all got your samples. So Aubrey, I apologize that we got the women's out to you. If you haven't gotten the men's yet, they're coming. So you're adding confusion to everything. Um, but those are going to be coming your way. Um, got there yesterday, right? Yes, I did receive it. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. <laughs> So I uh, want to start off by just showing you guys a video that will introduce Storm Creek. And then from there, I'll kind of show you some of the products and some of the capabilities that we have here. Um, let me go here. All right. So that is just a quick video just to introduce who Storm Creek is. And at any point in time, guys, uh, feel free to throw something in the chat or just unmute yourself and talk too. So I want it to be conversational. So feel free to do that. Um, but so here, let me share this PowerPoint with you guys. So Storm Creek as a whole. So we started as a company in 2006. Um, our founder, Doug, has been making product for probably close to 30 years. So when he started, he was sourcing product for different companies across the country. So a lot of big name retailers, 
he was designing and manufacturing that product and they were selling it under other brands. Uh, so then in 2006, some things changed and he wanted to start a company and that's when he started Storm Creek. Uh, so we have a retail side of our company and then we have the promotional product side of our company. Um, and in the retail world, we're sold at a lot of resorts around the country. So ski resorts, golf resorts, um, boutique retailers, specialty outdoor stores. And in those stores, we're sold right next to Patagonia, Arcteryx, North Face. And the quality that you guys will see and hopefully are able to touch and feel and try on is right in line with those brands. And a lot of what that comes down to is the factories that we work with are the same factories that they're working to manufacture their products through. So it's kind of cool is when you're looking at our factories overseas, you'll see some North Face and Patagonia pieces come off the line. The next piece is off are going to be Storm Creek. So it just speaks to the quality that we have in the products. Um, one of the other things that we're doing now is 75% of our current line is sustainable in one way or another. So um, a lot of the factories that we're using are blue sign certified and all of that. It just means that they're green factories or as green as you can be. Um, but then 75% of our current products use recycled materials within them. Uh, so over here, you'll see a little chart and I'm not going to go into too much detail on you for this because uh, I don't want to bore you, but essentially we're taking plastic bottles, breaking them down into chips, and then they spin it into yarn. So they melt it, put it into yarn, and then they can make products out of it. So to date this year, there are over 3 million plastic bottles that we've used to make our pieces. Um, so it's just a big part of what we do. 75% of the line is sustainable right now. By the end of next year, every single piece in our line will have a sustainable component to it. So it's just a push that we're trying to do. As a company, kind of the biggest, most important thing to us is giving back. So giving back to charities, community, to the planet. So we're part of 1% for the planet. So 1% of all of our sales get donated back to organizations that help fund different projects, you know, it, from cleaning the oceans to eliminating landfills and things like that, um, even getting greenhouse gases out of the air. But 1% of anything that we sell goes back to that charity. So anytime you guys place an order with Goodson, it goes back and we're giving back. And then another big thing, if you guys went to our website right now, you'd see Storm Creek is very into charity organizations across the country. And we donated last year, I think it was about 6% of total company revenue went back to charity organizations. And those are some big charities from like American Cancer to some smaller local ones like Save the Boundary Waters here in Minnesota. Um, so I know that that's something that probably doesn't go into a lot of apparel purchasing decisions. Um, but probably when you guys are talking about your own companies and what differenti differentiates you guys and what you stand for, um, I think that that is something important to know because I would imagine that it's relevant for you guys and your companies. Um, so just want you to know that on Storm Creek as well. All right, so I wanna jump into a couple things that make us different and that you guys might not have seen. Um, so we have, the majority of our products have the Storm Creek logos on them. Um, but one thing that we rolled out brand new this year uh, that I want to talk to you guys a little bit, bit about is our made to order program. Uh, so what the made to order program is, is a private label piece. So instead of going overseas and having to create buy 3000 pieces at a time, we stock these items so that you guys can customize them. So we have our quilted vest here, a quilted jacket, and then we have a soft shell jacket. Um, but what you're able to do is add a custom color zipper pull. So we have 16 different zipper pull options that you can add to the piece. And then on this inside neck label, we'll do a heat transfer for you. And it can say whatever you want. So here you're going to see the FedEx one. And I have an example. Actually, I'll stop sharing my screen and show you. Um, but so you'll see the FedEx logo there. Otherwise, you add the zipper pull. And then it can really tie into that outside logo too. So especially if you guys have a brand color that's a neon green or like FedEx where it's orange, you can go with a neutral color, add this pop of color. You know, if FedEx went with orange vest, you're going to look like you're going deer hunting year round. So it's nice to be able to use the neutral and do that. Um, but what a great option is for you is this inside heat transfer. So on this inside label, like I said, this one just says FedEx but you can really do whatever you want. So we have some stuff right now that we're working on that are year-end gifts. 
And what they're doing is they're putting a letter in there and they're printing that letter on the garment itself. So it says, thanks for a strange 2020. We appreciate all you did from my family to yours. Happy holidays. Put that on the inside of the jacket or vest. And every time your team is looking at it, they're going to see that message. It's going to resonate with them. And then it's not going to be on the outside of the piece. So they're still going to wear it. You know, a lot of times what I say is any corny marketing messages, you know, if there's anything that you guys are like, eh, you know, it's more of an internal slogan. It's great for the inside of the jacket because people are still going to see it. They're going to put it on and wear it around. So you'll still get that exposure and the team's going to know what's going on or uh, years of service program. We do a lot of these four. So five years service, put that on the inside of the jacket. That way everybody internally knows what it is and they can see it going around, but it gets a lot more wear and a lot more use because it's not on the outside of the jacket. Hey, Colton, one thing, will you pull yeah. that, thing, that physical piece, show that? I wanted you to show the back there and how you handle the tag. Now, flip it back around. Just you know how you showed us the, the size tag? I don't know if we can get an image, but this was something that when Colton showed this to us, so they, they way these design these tags is that they'll see the bottom part of it has the Storm Creek logo. So what they do is they cut off the Storm yeah. logo and, and leave the size and then allow you to customize the imprint on the inside. There you go. Yeah. So that's going to be an example of the regular tag. And then when we're doing that heat transfer, we'll cut off this tag here. So you still have the size, you still have the gender on it. Um, so I wanted to point that out because I know that when we originally, we're excited about this and I know Brett is, I'm going to let him say something here in a second, but that was something I just wanted to point out because that was my first question was, okay, if I start putting a customization on the back, how do I know what size it is? And so I just wanted to point that out. Go ahead, Brett. Yeah. Um, and this vest. So the three options that are available for the zipperize program, um, I know the vest, I think we sent the vest out to everybody. Yes. Everybody uh, has their vest. Yeah. It has been by far a bestseller in all of our brand programs. And it just seems to be a repeat order once we kind of show that to people. And the fact that that's available for zipperize is fantastic. Have you um, mentioned just like the minimum order quantity on that? I can't remember if you. Yeah. If you so on this is going to be 36 pieces. And so it's a 36 piece minimum. Really what that is for, is for the heat transfer. Um, but work with Brett, work with Landon on it, work with Jen, and we can work with you guys on that minimum. We can set it up for programs so that we can do fill-ins and do less than 36. But right now it's set up as 36, just so we're not doing five piece orders all the time for it. Cause it does take a little more time and we want to make sure we get stuff set up for you on that. Yeah, no, it's a great piece. And I love that. I love the program. Um, a lot so and looking forward to I was just gonna, people. sorry Brett I didn't mean to talk over you I was, I was just going to say this is classic to me this made to order program is a classic reason why the partner series is so valuable because it's the perfect setting for us to present something like that that can be a little difficult to present in other settings I guess and um, you know so I just I, this is one of the things there's a, there's a few things I wanted you guys to pay attention to but this is one of them um, that we wanted you to get out of this yeah. And if you guys are working on anything or you just want to see stuff mocked up for you, just let Brett or Landon know and we'll get some virtuals created and back to you guys just to showcase what we can do, whether it's on the made to order styles or anything else that you guys see today. Um, just let them know. We can get some concepts created for you and over to you. So one of the things that you guys saw on that made to order option is the zipper pulls. So in our line, Almost everything except for our dress shirts will have zipper pulls. So we have 16 different pull colors that we stock here. So everything from the blues to the red, the black, the greens. But what you can do then is take those and add them to any piece. So it doesn't have to be the made to order option. It's going to be about the same price as adding another decoration method to it. But what that allows you to do, as you saw with that FedEx piece, is it ties into the logo. So let me just show you a comparison here. So this is going to be that standard vest. I know a lot of you guys got the black vest. So you look at it here and you know, it's a great piece. It's our top selling piece like Brett was talking about, but there's nothing that stands out to you by adding those zipper pulls to it. It just creates a whole new piece. So take advantage of that on anything you guys are seeing. My example earlier with the blaze orange, you know, I think it still holds true. No matter what you're doing, it's nice to add that accent or just show it as an option. Um, but beyond that, think about different options and programs that you guys are running to. So in the month of October, we do a lot of pink zipper pulls for breast cancer awareness. So you guys can do that for the month of October and we can also ship a black pull with it 
so that after October you can switch it out or anything like that. So there's a lot of different options. We'll work with you guys to make stuff happen and make stuff work for you there. And so that can be, is there a minimum to do the, to, to do that? Um, if you guys are working through Goodson, there is no minimum to do that. So we can do as few as one piece. And there is a little bit of an extra cost to do the custom color zipper pull. And it is, we are using standard colors. So like, Ann, I know is on the call with mm -hmm. at the Evan Williams brand. I was thinking about some of the things we've done there with the orange and I yeah. love the idea and we can talk about it offline. Yeah. But, um, the challenge was that it is a, that orange may or may not match the orange in the logo. So that's just one thing I want to point out. Like, we want to make sure that we keep that in mind, but I love this idea and I know Brett does too. Actually, yeah. Just write down that 2025C just to see how that compares to 159C. Uh, yeah. So I like that you have the PMS colors there. That really helps. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to that point of what Landon was saying is if you want to do a custom PMS color, we can work with you on that. Like he's saying, there's a little bit of an additional charge, um, but we can order them from the factory. We can sit on them and inventory them and just use them for your orders as we're coming through. So you know, the one thing I will say with Storm Creek, it's we want to work with you guys. So let the Goodson team know what you guys need and they can let us know. and We'll figure out a way to make it happen and make it work. So we don't have a strict guideline of you need to do this, this and this. Uh, we want to earn all of your business and just see what we can do to work with you and make things work for you. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is just the decoration, and then we'll jump into some garments and some products here. So a few different things that we do. I'm sure you are all familiar with embroidery. It's the most standard turn to, or form of decoration that people do. Uh, a lot of you have probably heard of the heat transfer as well. Uh, it looks like a screen print or something like that. Uh, typically, heat transfers are just used on performance jackets and outerwear, uh, just because it's a little more durable and not as destructive on the garment itself. Um, and then this one down here in the bottom right, it's called Flex Style. Um, what that is, is going to be a 3D logo um, that's similar to a heat transfer, but you're gonna have it raised. It's gonna give you texture and there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. Um, but that is a great option for you guys for a clean high-end look. Um, it is a little more expensive, but it really is worth it. If you guys have seen the NFL jerseys that have the logos on them, the Nike swish, the uh, team logos that are going on the chest, those are done by this same company. So it's going to be that type of quality, that standard, and it's going to be extremely durable. Um, and then here in the bottom left, you'll see these leatherette patches. So it's a faux leather patch um, so that you're still able to wash it, but gives you that look of leather and we have 14 different color options and you can do custom cut shapes with that as well. So a nice way to give your logo a different look. And then let me show you guys here just a couple different examples of it. All right, so this one here is going to be the Flexile logo that we were just talking about. So you'll see, if I can show you a little bit there, but it's gonna be raised. So the Harley Davidson actually stands out. So there's texture to it versus just being flat. Um, and then it's applied just like a heat transfer is. So a nice option there. And then this one here, nobody's traveling. So sales on this one dipped a little bit, but you're gonna see the leatherette patch there that just gets sewn on. Um, so like I said, 14 different colors. We have pinks, we have grays, we have browns, um, but a great option for you guys there. Um, we actually did some for Coca-Cola that were in the shape of a Coke bottle. So a lot of different options there. Just real quick, Colton, I know yeah. that a lot of times with embroidery, the minimum is one piece because of the fact that, you know, you're just poking holes into it and whatever, but like for these customized options, like the leather attached or like the flex style or whatever, um, can you just kind of speak to what those minimums would be? Yeah. So if we are looking at the leather at patches, the minimum on that is going to be 12 pieces. So not too bad there. 12 pieces there. If you're doing a heat transfer, uh, we have the minimum set as 20 pieces. We can do less than 20, um, but really I just caution people on it. Once you're doing less than 20, you're not really cost effective on it. You guys are gonna have such a high price that it doesn't make sense to do it. And same on the flex style. So it's very similar to a heat transfer. Once you're doing under 20 pieces, the cost just doesn't make sense to go with it. Unless you need it, we can do it. Um, so yeah, I would put kind of a 20 piece minimum on the heat transfers and the flex style. 12 on the leatherette patches and then embroidery we can do one piece for you 
not to get into the weeds too much here, but very similar to the zipper pulls, I would think that if a client wanted to do, for example, flex style, heat transfer, things like that, there would be the option to lay in inventory potentially and quantity of those decoration methods that then could be used on multiple different garment types. Is that right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. So if you guys are doing a program or you know you're going to be running this logo for a while and you want to do something like that, let us know and we can place a larger order up front for those. We'll inventory them and then we'll just use them as we're going. We'll let you know once we start running low. So that is a great and option. Again, I just, you know, I say again, decoration methods is another area. I think sometimes that this is a great setting to, to show, uh, you know, just it's difficult sometimes in the regular course of doing things day in and day out to get to all the options. But I love the fact that now we can, we can show the breadth of what's possible. Yeah, absolutely. And Jen, I'm just seeing your message here that you go to the Boundary Waters. So I'm impressed. Not a lot of people make it up there. So good for you. Yeah, we even go up into Quetico. So it's- Wow, okay. That's yeah. awesome. All right, so let's now get into the meat and potatoes. So let's start showing some product. I know you guys have samples with you. I'm just gonna show them to you, show you kind of what compares, what makes us a little different. Um, but feel free to have your samples with you so you can go through it at the same time. If you don't have them with you, not a problem either. All right, let me find, what screen do I want? This one here. All right, so when we were talking, a lot of our products get compared to retail brands, Patagonia, North Face, Arcteryx, um, Columbia, and a lot of those brands are very limited in their accessibility in this market. Um, it's a secondary market for them and they really don't value business to business sales. Um, so when we're looking at a piece in our line, if you are ever looking for those name brands, we usually have a really nice alternative for you. Um, a good example of that is this piece here. So this is our overachiever sweater fleece. So this piece is very similar to the Patagonia Better Sweater. So you're gonna have a brushed inside, you're going to have a heathered texture to the outside, um, but just a really nice feel to it and a rich full zip fleece jacket. Um, so we have this in a jacket, we have this in a vest, everything we do for men, we do for women. Uh, there are a few pieces that are women only styles. And as I show you, uh, you'll know why they're women only styles because I don't think any of us guys are gonna be wearing them. Um, but Aubrey has samples, so he might try them on and he'll let us know what he thinks of them, I guess. Um, so this one here, this is our curator hoodie. Every single year, Storm Creek will bring out a fall offering and a spring offering to continue to show more retail styles. Um, so we want to show you guys the trendier items, things that you have access to and that you can get on a rolling basis. So we're constantly updating the inventory and styles that we offer. And then we'll have some styles that are staples in our line that we carry throughout the year. Uh, so many of the apparel pieces just in the promotional products industry as a whole um, don't have a lot of texture to them. So what you'll see in a lot of our items is we try to add some texture and some extra elements. Um, so this piece here is a women's only piece. So it's going to be a hoodie. There is also a vest that comes in the same fabric that'll be a zip up with a hood. Um, but you'll have kind of a cross neck here that show, this picture will probably show it better. So cross neck when it's laying and then it'll come up and be a higher neck on it. And then you'll have the hood, but you'll have this diamond quilt pattern that runs all the way throughout the piece just to give you some texture and some character to it. So a lot of different color options for you there too. Um, another piece that does very well for us is our stretch woven dress shirts. And I know Brett has a couple of these and he'll talk about it too a little bit after I go on this, but this piece is made using eight recycled plastic bottles. Um, but what's great about this shirt is it's a dress shirt, but it has four way stretch to it. So if you think of like a golf polo, you know, so many people wear golf polos because they're comfortable, they're breathable and you know, you can throw it on and you look a little more dressed up, but you don't necessarily feel it. Um, and that's exactly what this shirt is. So think of a long sleeve golf polo. Uh, it'll have the stretch, the moisture wicking, UV protection. It will be the most comfortable dress shirt that you ever wear. Um, men's and women's will come in this piece. So Brett, did you want to touch on this or add anything? Cause I know I you have examples yeah, that, that um, I was talking about this. And, and so this also comes in, in textures. I, I think I'm, I'm rolling the dice here that people on the call may. So a lot of us are familiar with like the Columbia 
fishing shirts that are, you know, the short sleeve Columbia fishing shirts are fairly popular. I would say, and I think this is a difficult piece because on screen, it looks like a regular dress shirt that you're used to seeing, but this thing is, it's a performance material. So I would say it's very similar to like the long sleeve Columbia fishing shirt without all the sort of pockets and loops and all the different things that they put into it. It's extremely comfortable. And then, like I said, I know it comes in this solid and then there's some patterns and men's and women. Th this is probably one of my favorite items that they've rolled out. We've sold several of these through our program, but it is something I think that you got to see. And so I would just encourage everybody on here, if this is interesting to you, please reach out to us. We'll get you a sample because I don't think it was included in the sample kit. And um, I think once you see it and, and it, you'll, you'll love it. So, yeah. And then some of the things I really enjoy about um, the Storm Creek brand personally is just the understated logo placement of the Storm Creek tags. So like on this piece, you can see it's down here, like on the cuff. On the previous women's piece, it was there. And then even on the piece that I'm wearing right here, it's kind of down here on the cuff, which is which is completely different. And when clients are thinking about putting their logo on brands, know a lot of people don't want to co-brand with another big name brand. Um, and the fact that you can kind of understatedly show a name brand without it being super loud and still get a really good quality piece. I think that's um, something to look out for. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys. Um, so this next one here, uh, so this is brand new to our line, um, but want to show this just because it shows kind of the unique styles that Storm Creek can bring in. So everyone got a sample of our, and I'm drawing a blank, it's our Moss jersey is what we used to call it, but it's that lightweight quarter zip that has a peach finish to it. Um, extremely soft. This is the same fabric that that one is, but it has a little heavier weight to it. So it'll be a little warmer, has a little more thickness to it, I guess, if you will. Um, but this is our trendsetter gator. And when we were bringing in this piece, we were bringing it in as more of a cowl neck. So you have the nice kind of cowl that lays there. Um, but when COVID hit, we made some adjustments and ended up bringing in this piece as a gator. So for women only, it will pull up, cover your mouth. And then on the back of the piece, there's going to be a cinch. And let me see if you can see in this picture here. So there's going to be a cinch on that so you can tighten it so that it stays above when you're running into the grocery store or something like that. And then you can undo it very quickly and easily. And you're back to a piece that is still more fashionable. Um, but styles like this are things that you don't typically see in the promotional product space as an option for you. So just a nice fun piece there that is a little different and more unique for you. And then the, I really like the, um, the hand, like the thumb. The thumb holes on it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I know women love those most of the time. You know, Colton, did you say they got a sample of this or they did not? Was it they the, did not get a sample okay. of this one, no. But if anybody wants a sample of this one, we have the inventory and lucky, lucky for you guys, I know a guy. So <laughs> we, we can help you out. So this next one is one that everybody got a sample of. So this is going to be our architect diamond fleece. So the guys that got this piece got it in a quarter zip and the women have a full zip, but it will come in our two standard colors. They're going to be the Navy. That's and the what I'm wearing, right? Quarter zip. Yes, sir. It is. Yeah. Yes. So you're going to have this diamond quilt that runs through the body of it for a little texture, a little dressier look, kind of an outdoors feel, if you will. And then on the sleeves, you're going to have an interlock fabric that's just very soft and spongy to it. Um, but a nice piece that is very easy to decorate and give you a rich finish to it. And once again, it gives you some texture to it. So you're going to have a piece that makes you stand out a lot more than just kind of a basic quarter zip or basic fleece jacket. So I want to jump in on this piece. I'm wearing it. I'm very, very, very simple when it comes to my personal taste. And I typically don't like two-tone and I don't like there's on screen, I initially saw this. I was like, there's just too, that's not me. There's too much going on. But I, all of a sudden we put in our programs and people started buying them and they started showing up. And every time we would pack orders up, we were just like, man, this thing is really nice. And so I ended up buying one, but I'm curious, everybody's got a sample of this, right? Yeah. So I'm just, I was just curious, just really quickly, even whether it's chat or just unmute and say like, what is everyone's reaction to this piece now that they have it in hand compared to what they see on screen? Brandon, I agree with you completely. Um, 
when I first got the bag, I was like, eh, this is pretty nice, but I don't know if it's for me. And then I put it on and I look great. So no, it, it's shocking how nice it is. And, and the fabric really surprised me. Like it's spongy at the bottom. It wasn't what I expected. Like you, I, I guess I expected like an, an Under Armour shirt that I'd wear to the gym, but this is actually way nicer than that. And I could probably wear this to work. Yeah, that's awesome. I know I've personally seen the men's version. We've sold a good bit of the men's version in our storefronts, but I don't know that I've seen a women's version. So I'd definitely be curious to know what some of the, the women's take are takes are um, that actually have this piece um, in their sample kit. I have it. Um, it looks kind of masculine to me. That's good to know. Yeah. Like, I don't know that I would order this for myself, but. Understandable. Understandable. Some of our like, I mean, I'm in IT, so some of our female engineers may like it, so. That's good feedback, though. I mean, it's, yeah, it's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. No, especially with the diamond pattern, I can completely get where you're coming from on it, so. All right, Leah, I'm going to put you on the spot. What was your favorite piece in the kit? It was probably the, we got, like, that little puffer jacket. This one right yeah. here. Yeah. Is that like the next one you're going to talk about? You're welcome. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, I got this way. Go. Way. all right. So this one here is our packable quilted jacket. So what you might not have noticed when you guys got it is it's able to pack down into a little pouch. So it folds inside out into its right pocket. So it comes in a jacket and a vest version, um, but still has that lightweight feel to it with a little bit of warmth. It's going to be windproof, water resistant for you as well. Um, but once again, relating it back to some brands that you guys are more familiar with, very similar to like a nano puff material. So lightweight, but still provides you with that warmth. And Leah just gave me the best segue to it ever. So Leah, what did you, what did you like about this piece? Um, it's pretty soft. It's very lightweight. Um, it's called the traveler jacket. So usually like when I'm traveling places, the weather's not the same. So you're either traveling to somewhere where you're going to need the jacket, you have to pack it, yep. or you're wearing the jacket when you leave and you don't need it when you get there, like when we go to California. And so then you have to shove it in your suitcase for like a week and it's annoying and it takes up a ton of space. So this one looks like very thin, but it's warm and it's nice. So it definitely would be ideal for shoving it in your suitcase for your trip or whatever. Absolutely. And a little pro tip for you. It makes a great neck pillow on the flights as well. So you pack it up and you got a little pillow that you can take with you. So that works out well too. Awesome. All yeah, right. I guess I'll, just, I'll say it's yeah. funny. I don't, I don't have one of these personally, but there's been several purchased through our stores and every time they show up, I kind of have the same reaction. You know, it's just like, once I had it in hand, I was like, exactly what Leah said. I get, I'm like, man, it just kind of has a high quality feel to it. It's, it's, you know, it feels like something that I would have gone into, you know, Von Mar or something and bought with a relatively high end brand. So it's a really nice item. Yeah, absolutely. So the next piece here is one that you guys all got as well. So this right now is our top selling quarter zip that we have in the line. So this is our pace setter. The one we were talking about earlier that has that peach finish to the inside and the outside of it. So extremely, extremely soft um, with that peach finish. It gives you just kind of a fleece feel to it. Um, makes you want to put it on where it is like a pair of pajamas. Um, but another piece that's great for more of the athletic style going to the gym or working out um, because it does have the moisture wicking to it uh, comes in this quarter zip. And then the one Brett is wearing right now is the brand new piece that comes in a hooded version. So the men will have a hood and the women's will have a quarter zip with a hood. So exact same fabric, just a couple different takes on it. Brett, what do you think of the fabric? Dude, it is butter. I mean, so comfortable. Um, it even has this like hood, which I don't know if you guys can see it, but like I am ready for comfort. Also ready to be business professional on a, a Zoom call. So there you go. But no, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And then just to your point on the softness, like the, you said it was like a peach finish on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Love it. Yeah, we have a client. So I know this is one of Brett's favorites. Um, I think it's one of all of our favorites. Ross is actually wearing this piece today. I had a client, uh, one of my programs, they loved it. So he loved it so much that he reached out to me and asked me to get him three additional colors without a logo that he can wear evenings and weekends, in addition to the ones that he has with the company logo that he wears during the day. 
Uh, I think this is definitely a piece. And you said this was in the kit. I mean, I think Jacqueline spoke to everybody that touches it. They just like, it's just so soft. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this was in the kit. And then the final piece you guys had in the kit is going to be this one here. So this is our front runner vest. This is the most popular piece that we have in the line. This is the one we looked at earlier that has the made to order private label option. Um, you guys all would have gotten the standard Storm Creek option and should have the Storm Creek logo on the back of it. Uh, but what's great about this piece is just going to be kind of the uniformity to it. So it has a very simplistic design. You're going to have the horizontal quilt pattern it has more of a dulled finish to it than what that packable jacket is that we looked at. Uh, this one also comes in a jacket, but we sell more of this vest than we do anything else in the line. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we got it to you guys. And right now vests are extremely popular. And part of what I have heard from customers on why it's popular is it allows you guys and it allows your team to wear it however they want to wear it. So, you know, if you give somebody a quarter zip, everybody in that office is going to look the exact same when they're, when they're wearing that quarter zip. You know, you can put a different color on underneath, but it's still going to be the same piece. When you're giving somebody a vest, it allows them to kind of take that vest and put it in their own style. They can wear it with a hooded sweatshirt. They can wear it with a dress shirt. They can wear it you know, with a t-shirt if they wanted to. It, it doesn't matter, but it gives them a piece that they can wear to their style. Um, so it's pretty versatile there and comes in at, you know, great price points too. And just real uh, quick, I know, uh, sorry about that. I, I know that this piece also comes in like a big and tall section. So I know we have a lot of like construction clients and, um, and others that just have some bigger guys on staff. Yeah. Um, and this piece comes, and I know, I feel like Storm Creek has a really good selection of big and tall items to choose from as well. So those yeah. guys can get some really nice pieces. Yeah, absolutely. So in this vest, this is the only vest we have in our line that comes in tall sizes. Um, but the, all of our outerwear pieces and our jackets uh, will have talls. So we'll do large tall, extra large tall, 2XLT, and then sometimes we'll go up to the 3XLT. Um, but our... Items that we stock year round typically in the men's will go up to 5XL. So we'll have those bigger sizes for you. And then in women's, we will always go up to 3XL. So. Yeah, I appreciate you pointing that out, Brett, because we do get, we're getting more and more people asking for, you know, tall uh, options, especially. The one thing I was going to say about this, I'm, I'm pretty warm natured. I have this vest literally, like I keep it in my car and there's only a couple of months a year in Kentucky where I need like a jacket with sleeves for me. And so this is my go-to. What I love about it is like, this is probably what I wear three months a year. And then, you know, other than some other Storm Creek jacket that I have for when I need sleeves, but uh, I do love this item. Yeah, absolutely. I don't even think I touched on it. So we're based in Minnesota. So outerwear is kind of at the heart of everything we do. So when I hear that you only have to wear a jacket two months out of the year, I'm a little jealous because we just had about eight inches of snow a week ago so well, I, I need to find, find a new place to live probably people to wear jackets a lot longer than that here because i'm just i'm pretty unique in that way but <laughs> yeah hey and just real quick i saw where kevin had a question does the men's pace setter only come in oatmeal and dark gray i can't remember off the top of my head uh so we will have that oatmeal which is a light heather color we'll have a dark gray we will have a indigo we'll have a blue and then we have a i want to say it's like a pine green Okay, good deal. Olive I know some of like the the like the pine greens, like the indigos and stuff like that, don't aren't always as heavy in stock as like the charcoal yeah. or the light like grays and all that kind of stuff. So they are available, but not all the time. So it just kind of depends on. Yeah. What so doing. similar to what we were kind of touching on earlier with those retail items as a whole, where we're going to introduce some, we'll have them kind of fall season and spring season. It's we'll do the same thing with styles and colors. So the more neutral colors, those are going to be our most popular colors. So we try to carry deeper inventory in those, have them throughout the year at all times for you. And then we'll have seasonal colors that we always introduce just to keep it fresh and keep things in front of you guys. Um, so that's going to be more where we go with like the pink blushes and these olive greens and a sky blue and things like that. So you'll constantly see that updating on our website. You guys will always have access to them. Um, they just typically are not as deep in inventory. So, but work with your contact at Goodson and what we'll do is we'll hold inventory for you guys and we can make stuff work. The real quick, Colton, the pace setter, I got the link up. That's the 2340, right? Yes, sir. So I sent Kevin a link. I probably should have posted. I think I 
anyway, um, it looks like dusty blue, olive green, indigo. These sound familiar, dark heather gray. Yep, white and navy them. and mushroom. Is that yeah, right? Almost like you read it right off the website. That was it good. Is. It's, it's exactly like that. So I'll yeah. post that. I'll post that to, to the comments and everyone they can click out and see it. Absolutely. So that is what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I know that you all have your sample kits. Um, so in there as a gift for just attending today and, you know, being introduced to a new brand for you, uh, we want you guys to all keep one of the pieces for yourself. So if you want to keep more, I know Landon has some stuff he can talk about, um, but there should be a return label in all of those. You can just throw them right back in the box, put that return label on it and drop it off. And then we'll get everything sent back and our warehouse team will check it back in. So it's one of the things that's great because it just goes back to them and I don't have to touch it. So, yeah. And Colton, I just would really want to thank you up front for, for sending that out to everybody. I mean, it really makes the presentation kind of come to life for a lot of these folks. Um, I mean, obviously in person is always better, um, but receiving a fun package, getting to really touch and feel these things prior to and during a, one of these partner series is just, is a fantastic um, element uh, to have. Yeah. I, I'll jump in and say, hey, listen, you know, so he mentioned you got the sample kit. We've made it easy to return. You have the option of keeping one from that kit. But had, if you saw something on screen today that was not included in the kit, uh, or if you'd like us, frankly, to follow up with the uh, full catalog and you want to look and see what else is out there, um, we want you to get something that you like and that you're going to wear. And so um, please let us know. And, and, and actually, there will be an email going up going out as a follow-up to this that will get you some of the information we've talked about here as well as a link to their catalog. Um, so we'll, we'll be reaching out and working with each of you on what you want to do on that front. Um, and, you know, again, Colton, thank you. Um, I want to say, I think the one other thing I want to say is that one of the things I really love about Storm Creek, and I think one of the challenges that our industry has, and Anne, I think, knows this really well because of the fact that she operates a retail store, the jump between basic brands and brands in cost can be huge. And in, 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 in that is the case for people who are buying for corporate use, but also for resale, especially for resale. And I, what I love about Storm Creek is I feel like it is a brand that occupies some space in between. It gets you style and quality and a brand that is elevated above the sort of basic day in and day out brands, but not all the way up to Nike and Under Armour to where you're paying that kind of price point. I feel like for me, the word that always comes to mind when I think of Storm Creek is value. I think you get incredible value with the Storm Creek items when you think about the design, the fit, the style, the quality, and the price. And um, I know we've sold it. I know we've shown it to a lot of you. Um, and I'm hoping today you've seen a lot of other things. And, and rest assured, this stuff will continue to show up in our collections. Uh, and I also know, Colton, that you've, in, you've mentioned to us, I mean, you guys are pretty focused. You've got a one thing I respect is you've got to focus on a narrow line, a pretty narrow line compared to other clothing suppliers, but you're continuing to look at where it makes sense to add things. So probably over the next couple of years, there's probably the chance that we'll start to see even, um, you know, polos or, or other things. Making Absolutely. Money. Right, right across from me, we have our designer and he is working on polos and expanding more into that spring line. So Right now, when you guys see the products, a lot of it is more of, you'll probably think of it as that fall, winter, early spring type weight and type of product. So we are working on continuing to expand into more of that summer, spring, fall market. I mean, you guys have what, more and more weather than what we do. So uh, we're working on expanding into there and you'll continue to see things that come in, but everything that we design, we wanna make sure that it has a Storm Creek element to it. It's not just a run of the mill piece and that the fabric is top notch and that there's something that's going to differentiate it and make it stand out for you guys. So we just don't want to bring in product for the sake of bringing in product. We want to make sure that it's, it's right. It fits the storm Creek product story. And then it's perfect for you guys too. Very good. Um, well, Hey, we're up against it on time. I want to, as I said, from the start, I want to be respectful of everyone's time. Thank you again for taking the time to be here. Hopefully it's been valuable. Um, I hope everybody has a great day and we will be reaching out individually to, uh, get everything worked out on the samples. And uh, if anybody has anything to say, unmute and say it. Otherwise, we're going to get back to it. Thank you, guys. Have a Thank great you day. very much. It was great. All right, Thanks, everybody. guys. Thanks, See everybody. You guys.